Hello, Sens fans. I'm your host, Jordan Mady, and this is an SFT Game Reaction. Pretty nifty sure day. Well, I'll tell you something that's not nifty. The Ottawa Senators' first period. Again, the sticking up for your teammate thing when it's not necessary needs to stop. Columbus then converted on the power play, and Ottawa got it back on a power play of their own, tying the game. But since Borowiecki took that penalty, Ottawa played from a position of weakness for the rest of the period. But despite being outshot 14-5 after 20 minutes, the Senators found themselves in a tie game after the first period. And it didn't take Ottawa long to get the lead back as a failed Blue Jacket zone exit resulted in a CC shot on net, which was promptly tipped home by Zach Smith. 2-1. Blue Jackets tied the game late in the period, which is unfortunate because that was arguably Ottawa's best second period of the season. We're back where we started, 2-2 two -two after 2. In the third, a scramble in Ottawa's end trapped multiple Blue Jackets, allowing Eric Carlson and others to go up ice on an odd man rush. Carlson finishes 3-2. A little later, a dangerous hit on Mark Borowiecki resulted in a 5-minute power play for the Senators, which Alex Chiasson scored on to make it 4-2. The Sens would add another to seal the deal with a final score of 5-2. Ottawa was outplayed early, though in the second half of the game they took over and did not look back. The Griba hit. Two different angles show that Griba's shoulder met Anisimov's chest. Anisimov was also heading into the corner with his head down, which is a big no-no, and something that's taken into consideration when the safety department reviews plays. But there was collateral damage involved in the play, and what I mean by that is that Anisimov's helmet flew off. Sure, some players don't fasten their chin straps like they should, though the helmet coming off definitely inflated the reaction of the ref who made the call and everyone watching. It'll get reviewed at the very minimum. The same goes for the hit on Borowiecki, which was from behind though some are arguing that he turned towards the boards at the last minute. After tonight, Coach McLean has split goaltending duties 50-50 in eight games after saying numerous times in the offseason that Craig Anderson was his number one goalie. We'll see who gets the start next as the Sens go back home to finish their season series with the Chicago Blackhawks on Thursday. That's it for tonight's SFT. Thank you for watching. My name is Jordan Mady for Hooked on Hockey Magazine. Stay red, Sens fans.